WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. Dow's up 26 points. S&P's down 22. NASDAQ 100 down 240. Russell's up 5. Trendy's up 45. Semi's down 124. Gold's up 20 bucks. Silver's down 34 cents. Light tree crude is up 10 pennies. Natural gas off 22 cents. 30-year treasury up 21 ticks. The 10-year uh, note print out at 110.20. Let's try to figure out what all this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with ES Mini, upper left hand side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what we know about it, it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Price got up towards the top of that profile at 60.53. Today's high is 60.47. Spot fix index is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average. As long as it remains below it, it being 1730, it provides buyers with an edge for the SP 500. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ this week, so far, we are open on Friday, um, shortened trading session. But this week, what we know, two days ago on Monday, we saw that nice rally inside the NQ. It got all the way up to the center of its bearish structured, bullish structured daily profile. That price had been below for more than two consecutive sessions. This is the area where a counter trend rally would end. That level, 21.075.20. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it's now trading into its buy zone. The buy zone is established by that bullish structured profile. It's between 105.82 and 106.11. Gold, try to deal with profile resistance. Profile resistance is where the sellers are at. We can see they're there. And that's at the 2671 level. A close above that would be a bullish outcome. It really needs a close about a few dollars higher than that, where the thread oscillator and change line is. We'll look at that during the Trader's Edge show. Silver here is trading into its buy zone. That's between 3043 and 3093. Light sweet crude is just consolidating really between a rising and a descending trend line. Profile support down at 68 bucks. Natural gas. I believe is testing its oscillator and change line, maybe trading below that. It would be below that. If it does close below that in profile levels today, we will likely see lower price. And the 30 year treasury trading into profile resistance at 118.26, the next level would be 119.06. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful Wednesday, a terrific Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see you on a Magical Monday. Take care. We'll be right back for the Trader's Edge.